Hey guys, it's Vostop, and today we're going to be looking at some hard drives. So, my dad gave me these hard drives because he wanted me to get all the data off of them. And, since they're old, they don't use SATA. They use a 40-pin and Molex connector. Two of these hard drives are older than I am and were made in 1996, but there's a problem with that. One of them doesn't work properly. The head, which is what reads and writes the data, got stuck on the platter. One of the very few ways to fix that is to take it off manually while the drive is powered off. In order to do that, you must take the top cover off and spin the platter while pulling the head away from the platter. So first things first, you want to grab some tools that fit the screws in which this case is a TR9 bit. Make sure you find the hidden screw which is somewhere in the middle and make sure that you unscrew that one too. A good way to find it is to use your fingernail or some other hard object and scrape against the paper. So make sure you take the top off very carefully and unlike I did and set it to the side. Now that the top is off, you can grab the tool that you'll use to spin the platter and another tool to pull the head off. Make sure you spin the platter as you're pulling the top. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. It was a prank! Hi, <laughs> April Fools! So, I hope you guys liked that video. It was uh, a bit cringy there at the end, where I scraped that tweezer against the plate. But, um... Yeah. Also, don't leave your hard drive plugged in when you're taking it apart, but you should only ever take it apart unless you want to retrieve the magnets out of it, because these are actually pretty fun to play around with. But um, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Happy April Fools, and I'll see you in the next one.